Hey dudes, I'm going to show you how to make a video DVD without a DVD menu. Wait. So let's start when you open DVD Styler. When DVD Styler shows like this, there's a welcome screen. Make sure that your video format is the right format, which is in my country is NTSC. The aspect ratio I'm using for the video is 16 by 9. You can use 4 by 3 if your video is in 4 by 3, and always choose the AC3 audio format. So let's click OK afterwards. And since we are not using any DVD menus at all, let's just choose no template. And now we're in the DVD seller menu. And the first thing you need to do is to actually just delete this. Delete this uh, VMGM menu. Uh, so in order to do that, right click on it and click delete. Yes. And now we have basically nothing. And the second thing you need to do is to put the video. Usually I just drag the video files as the text says here. So I'm going to choose that. This tutorial is best if you only use one video at a time for a DVD. But in this intents and purposes for this tutorial, I'm going to do uh, about mm, three. Okay, I'm going to drag this down to DVD Styler and move it here. Let's wait, and there we go. So I want this to be rearranged, and it, it's easy to rearrange stuff in DVD Styler. You just need to drag and drop. I'm going to put the preview on the first one and put the extended version on the last. Okay, already set the the video is up in the proper configuration, so let's go to DVD and click Options. So in this Properties uh, menu, this will show uh, how the DVD works when you actually insert it on the DVD player. I'm going to choose the first play commands, which is right here, and I'm going to choose the jump to title 1, because if it doesn't have a first play command, it won't actually play or actually render. because a DVD needs to have something to be played first. It's usually a video, or a title, or a menu. But we're going to choose a video because there is no menu in this. The next one that we need to change is the default title post command. This uh, option is what uh, is what DVD styler changes which uh, video is next up. For example, if I change it to call last menu, it means after one title plays, it goes back to the last menu it was in. But since this doesn't have an actual menu, we need to uh, choose this and go to play next title. That means when title 1 plays, then title 2 will play after title 1 is done playing. Okay, if you understand that, thank you very much. And just click OK. Now, if we double click on all of these, you will see that the post command is jump to next title. So after this video plays, it will go to the next title, which is title 2. Let's do that to title 2, and it just does the same. And also title 3, and does the same too. But the problem is, title 3 doesn't have a video next to it, so we should go and jump to title 1, so it will loop. This is much better rather than suddenly your DVD just becomes uh, your DVD, uh, your TV player or whatever, it turns to black. So if you want it to loop, just click the jump, the title one in the post commands menu, or drop down menu, and click OK. And that's basically how we do it. But next thing we need to do, or the last thing we need to do, is to burn a DVD. Let's go to uh, burn, this uh, fiery disk button. And we will choose to have a preview one. I'm using a custom video player, which is VLC portable, because I want to see the video, uh, the, the preview, just in case. And I want to create an ISO image. I always recommend using an ISO image, so you can just burn it to a DVD in later times. Or if your computer doesn't have a DVD drive, you can just always transfer it and burn it on another computer, if you wish. So let's name the DVD. Um, call the run 2015. Wow, this video is about two years old. Uh, <laughs> when the time of recording this, and click save. Okay, so let's start the burning process. Well, just the rendering process of DVD Styler, and click start. And now VLC will play, or VLC Portable will play the preview version. Well, basically, what will 
what is what will be rendered or transcoded. So you want it, then if I go scale here, and it becomes the next video. And the last one, we play this. Then, last one. And if we go back to the furthest one, it will should be going back from the beginning. Yep. Just close that, and yeah, let's... Uh, Wanna create? Yes, that's what I want to make it for. And we'll create the ISO image that you can burn subse subsequently burn to another computer or the computer you're using. And generating was successful. So yeah dudes, that's how to make a video DVD without a DVD menu. So anyways dudes, I'm Nuclear. see you later.